Hello, my beautiful people. I am Mina. Welcome back to another Nighttime Pouring episode. Tonight we're going to do something I haven't done in a while. We are working on a 36 by 36 inch gallery wrap canvas from Artist Loft. This is a big baby. I am very, very excited about this one. I love the big canvases and I think this is going to be so much fun and we have a great color palette. At the top of my staircase is a painting of mine, Pisces, and I absolutely love this one and it's, it's so cool. It was two rings, two ring pours and I had wrecked them and that was in the video. Pisces was the story of Aphrodite and Eros and how they turned themselves into two fish to get away from a monster and they tied a rope around each other so that they couldn't lose each other and that's what the constellation is, is the two fish attached with the rope. So we did <laughs> the two ring pours and then I wrecked it with one of my sticks in uh, the shape of two fish and then I also wrecked it in another pattern, kind of like a net and that part created the most beautiful effects. So that's kind of, I want, kind of what I want to recreate tonight. So we're going to get started. This is 36 by 36. I'm super happy about that. I have taped the back and put the push pins in. Let me scoot that over for a second and I will show you the color palette. Okay, first, as my base coat slash flow extender, I am using Artist Loft Flow Acrylic in, which is this, metallic gold. So this is very thin. It is mixed with my Liquitex gloss medium and a lot of Floetrol and a lot of water. So it's pretty much just sinking right as soon as it hits the surface. This is not thick and I have two big cups of that. For this size canvas we need about 46 ounces of paint and I have about 46 ounces of flow extender so I think we're going to have enough. Okay, the first one we're using is my Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in 24 karat gold. Nice and thick and creamy leaving a mound and then kind of melting into itself. Okay, the next one we have is Golden's Prussian Blue, which is beautiful, deep and dreamy. Okay, then the next one we have is Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics in Emerald Green. And to the Emerald Green I have added just a little bit of this Peacock Pearl because I like to do weird things sometimes. <laughs> Actually, the green by itself is beautiful, but it's a little harsh, so I wanted that peacock pearl in there to soften it up just a little bit, and it did nicely. Okay, the next one we have is Golden's Turquoise Thalo, which is absolutely an amazing color. Just gorgeous. And this one is Golden's Green Gold, which I love these two together. You guys have been watching me for a while, you know I love this combination. Actually, this whole palette, this is just the expanded version. <laughs> so that's the green gold. I don't like this one much by itself, but I love it with the turquoise. So the next one we have is Golden's Nickel Azo Gold. And I had done something that you guys might have already seen in a bloom that I did where I added a little bit of the Treasure Gold, Folk Art Treasure Gold series Fire Opal to the Nickel Azo Gold just to give it some sparkle. And it's amazing. It's such a pretty color. This is just oh, beautiful. <laughs> okay, this next one is Golden's Indian Yellow Hue, which is very pretty. Reminds me of corn. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> okay, so that's the Indian Yellow. Probably the name also helps a lot. And then I have some white, which is my Satin Enamels, Deco Art Americana Decor Satin Enamels in pure white with a little bit of the pearl white, white pearl from Deco Art Metallics. Okay, so we need to layer at least two cups for this and we have our base cut ready to go, but I'm gonna layer my cups first because I wanna make sure that I have enough paint for both of them. So this is going to be about 40 ounces of paint and then we might do a little one also. So let's see how this goes first though. All right. I got to slow down and think for a second. Okay. I'm going to start with just a little bit of gold and I'm not even going to pour it. I'm just going to drizzle it off the stick. Can you see this one? You can't, can you? So that's our gold. We're going to come right into the Prussian. Okay. And now we're going to put in just a little bit of white. 
very small layer of white. You don't need a lot. Okay, I'm going to put some turquoise in there now. And now I'm going to use the green gold. Again, smaller layers of this one. Okay, did we put the green in yet? No. Okay, now we're going to use the emerald gold, emerald green, sorry. I'm making up my own colors now. <laughs> okay, we're going to come back to the Prussian blue. Am I just dripping down the side there? Okay, another small layer of white. And now we're going to go right into that nickel as a gold loveliness. And a bit of our gold. And then some of the yellow. Come back to the Prussian blue again. I'm gonna put some nickel as a gold in there now. Base coat down. Okay. three okay so even though there's a lot of gold on there I am actually gonna pour into a puddle of gold and we're gonna do one here one here and one maybe over here okay all right you can do this one first and then we'll turn it okay are you ready husband of awesomeness yes my love it is English here we go with that so far. I'm going to turn this and let that one develop. And we're going to pour this other one over here. We're going to pour this one in two cups, two sections, instead of just one. Okay. Okay. You ready, darling? Yes, ma'am. that this one has no nickel as a gold in it or is it okay do you think it's okay. okay okay all right 
So I'm gonna take just a stir stick and I'm gonna do kind of like a cross hatch pattern through these. So, you ready, my love? If you guys saw Pisces, you know that was like the net that we did. Oh, this one's almost so far. I don't think I want to ruin that one, wreck that one. I'm just gonna leave that one like it is for the moment. We're gonna do this other one over here. Okay, I'm gonna start over here, ready? This is much bigger than I did it last time, but that looks pretty cool. <laughs> wow, that's awesome. Look how pretty that one is. Okay, I think I do need to. Oh, what do you think? Should we leave that one alone? Yeah. Okay. We'll leave that one alone. Let's give this a quick torch. I'm wondering if we don't need more paint on there. I kind of do, well no, that's too, well actually we do need about six ounces more, but we have so much flow extender on here. All right, maybe we'll just layer a little bit more in a cup. Just maybe like half a cup. Okay, so I'm gonna start. <laughs> half a cup. You're cute. Hey, easy now. A little bit of gold in next, some turquoise. And I'm gonna put the nickel as a gold in right now. And some yellow, some green, a little bit of white. Do one more small ring, like right over here, kind of. Maybe do. Okay, that's really pretty. Move that and we'll turn it again. I'm gonna do one more little one on the other side too. I don't like even numbers. direct the middle one. these two. I'm going to hook those over the edge first. Okay, so we're just going to kind of go back and forth. And our flow extender is a little thinner than everything else, so it's, it's going to move, but that's okay. Because we have enough paint on here. Let's do it again. You can go off that edge. Two cups because I would have felt like I was 
stress and tilt it. There's a lot happening in here. This is really cool. I love that one. I don't know if I'm crazy about the middle one. This one I really like. That one I'm not so crazy about because it seems like there's a lot of Nicolazzo next to the green, which is not what I wanted. I like this like this. This is a really pretty ring for. Um, I think I'm gonna tilt it and take some of that corner off. way more. Actually before I do that, I don't like the center. I'm going to put a little bit of paint in the cup and do that middle part again, just a small one. Fresh and blue, turquoise, and blue. Gold. white, and gold. Okay. Are you ready, darling? Joy. Oh, I need stuff there. I like the colors in that last pour. Hmm. I like those two up at the top. I like the one in the center. I like the outside of this one, but the inside's kind of purpley, which I don't know why it's weirding me out. But it does look pretty cool. The only thing that I'm not loving is that I can see that uh, gold artist loft base coat in there. We might need to do some bands or something.
Let's put that in there. And get this all to move down a little bit more. I like that top a lot better now. Kinda yeah, cool. What do you think? Yeah. Is there anything that needs to go? I should try to get this part off. Which part? This whole edge up here on the top. I wouldn't miss it. I don't know if I can get it off right now though. Because the weight of the paint's all about here. Let me try. Okay. Do the greenery? Yeah. It's on the bottom corner over there now. And it's going out. So. <laughs> I could use some of it. I thought you this side. Dark area. Oh, I like dark area. I like that better though. That's more spread out. And I like the colors. That's pretty cool. Okay, so I'm gonna take this back down a little bit. Get one to move and open up just a touch. I like what's happening everywhere now. Um, I like that there's just little bits of the Nicolazzo gold. The whole thing is not all Nicolazzo gold because I didn't actually like it when it looked like that. So this is cool. All right. So that's looking pretty awesome. And we're starting to get some little gold cells popping up. There's some bunch of them in over there in the corner. I love what's happening in the center here where there was more white and we're getting those cloudy satin enamel type cells. Um, I like the center. I like that turquoise with the Nicolazzo gold and the orange. I love all of this stuff, it's beautiful. Okay, this is really pretty. That's really pretty. This is all very cool. This is all really pretty. I love these lines going this way, and the layers of them. That's really pretty. I like all the gold cells coming up. This I like. I don't know why this is like purpley. So that's what's throwing me off. But I love this one. This one's really, really cool where the pressure hit the pearly white. Very cool. Very cool. Okay, so this one is done. I will show you when it's dry.
I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so this is a few days later now, and it is totally dry. <laughs> this one turned out really, really cool. I love these like big thunderstorm clouds. This one especially has some beautiful, beautiful cells in here. Really pretty lines in here. Little bits of that Nicolazzo gold peeking through. Really cool. That's like one big storm cloud with some lightning coming out. <laughs> These two turned out really pretty. I really like this one a lot. Some gorgeous, gorgeous lines in here. And that color, the Prussian blue mixed with the white. Really nice. Beautiful lines. Little gold cells down there on the bottom. has the most Nicolazzo gold of anything. Really interesting. Very cloudy and poofy in there. Clouds swirling and rolling for a thunderstorm. Cool. So this is our 36 by 36. And I'm hoping Gail doesn't decide to turn it into a sale. <laughs> Hello Gail. Thank you for joining us again. You can see she's making all the bogey a dance. Anyways, thank you guys so much for being here with us. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I really did. I love doing these big canvases. I'm going to pull out some more big ones and do some more. <laughs> I will see you guys very, very soon. Hope you have a beautiful, beautiful day. Bye-bye.